What is that thing? Yeah. Uh, fresh off the press. What? What's on? Oh, you're on camera. That's why you didn't take two. <laughs> yeah. What's on the second page? Let's see that second page. Uh, hey. -o. Yep. Look at that. Dang Speed it. Speed Week 2024. So we're here at Bonneville 2024. Um, I'm standing with some of the most like amazing people in the world when it comes to Bonneville salt racing. Uh, we got Rick Vesco here. Um, I mean, Rick, how long have you been doing this for? Well, I've been coming out here 71 years this year. Wow. Yeah, just a puny kid. Puny kid. And uh, this is our driver. Eric, up, <laughs> Eric Ritter, uh, he's taken this car up to, you know, the records and done a lot of cool stuff with it. Uh, we got our crew chief. Chip. Chip, Chip. there you go. Yeah. Um, we got Cliff down there. He does a lot of video stuff. <laughs> and Greg Peak. Camera guy. You and I spent a lot of time together, didn't we? We did. Okay. We're Most of it on the phone. <laughs> on the phone. We never even met each other. And when I got this project in, uh, Rick gave me a Rolodex of people to call. He goes... You're going to need John Ammo, you're going to need Greg Peak. you're going to need all these people that kind of put this thing together and use these resources I give you that um, you've developed over the years. And by the way, I could have never done any of this without. And, all and Eddie that. calls me up one day and says, I understand you can help me with a pulley. <laughs> one pulley. <laughs> and I go, wait a minute, there's more to this story. <laughs> so this car was belt driven uh, for, the, for the electric stuff. And Greg and I spent three to four months up at two, three in the morning, designing this thing in and putting things together. And boy, uh, but I got the parts from you the day before race day. I think the the, pit, the, the pits had opened. Yeah. It, it was several days after the pits opened when I yeah. shipped it to you. So, you know, I'm just standing here with a bunch of just amazing people. These guys have been racing. That's it in their blood. Let me ask you guys this. I mean, we went electric, which is completely different than what you guys always do. What yeah. do you think about all that? Yeah, the thing is, very few people do what they say. You guys exceeded what we ever thought you could do. <laughs> That's right. You really did. It's, it was amazing how you get the motorcycle with bad issues. Yeah, no, that was real funny. Then. You guys are uh, being great. But um, what do you think about this electric stuff? Oh, electric's great. Yeah. Except you don't haul freight with it. No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. I think Elon's working on that. So, to me, it was interesting because... We got the thing put together. Eddie was the only knew anything about electricity at all. I'm a blithering idiot on electricity. <laughs> we show up at the salt, and I think we're all full of ourselves. They're really going to go fast right off the bat. And it didn't happen. Nope. And I decided, this is just newfangled hot rod, and it's really cool. We had problems. We scratched our heads. We solved the problems. We came back, and we went fast. No, we didn't. did get to the end of the course first time in. yes yeah i'll never forget the day that we did our first pass and i was in the back seat and you turned around and looked at me and said well you know we gave you a one out of ten chance to even make it to the back of the course and i said really that's it you're like that's actually really on it <laughs> right. you know, it's good job far, kid yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that's yeah. what i heard of you guys did great no nah, and then you know we're trying new things we're experimenting and like rick just said we had the motorcycle so far is the fastest thing out there uh on two wheels uh maddie's done a really good job jim hooger hide got over 300 on his his little electric powered car so i i you know i don't know and maddie's motorcycle came from kent ritchie's that's right and ran is the full-on so. dreamlined it had it all set up full throttle right off the get yep and the only thing we changed basically was the batteries yep. that's it it's all in the battery technology so now we're we're very happy where the car is now going back to rick basco um hopefully we get it back to me soon to put it in the san diego automotive museum for crossing your fingers for that but you guys get to run it one more time with the original model B motor, right? I don't know what you're going to call it, Bobby. But let's say it's a Ford four-cylinder early. Yeah, Ford. but that's what it started with, right? Yeah. Okay, so the original, basically the original engines go back in this. Look, guys, thank you guys so much for letting us take this car and, and run it and have so much fun with it. I'm dropping off at your house sometime tonight, and uh, it's a bittersweet farewell. But uh, I'm sure we'll be, be doing this again with something soon. I think so. It was a lot of work, a lot of oh, you. No, you guys are sure. amazing people. Thank and you. I thank you guys so much for everything you did for us. And, man, I can't wait to do it again. I just have to say, for you to drop this thing off the trailer, hit 200 and something the first ride, have a few problems. 
we did speed week, got through that. Every run, we made a full, complete pass. But overall, we did it in eight runs. Yeah. And got the record. The world's it's, fastest it's, electric vehicle. It's yeah. very difficult to get a vehicle in five years to do what you want it to do. And you did it in, what, three months? Three, four months. It's it's amazing. No, it was it was amazing. But it, but it took a village. I mean, Greg and I. Yes. We never even we met the first time on the salt. But I felt like I knew you so well. We spent hours, oh. hours, and hours yeah. on the phone. I mean, don't get me wrong. You got Rick over. Oh yeah, he's got the car. You got Greg over there. He's building your parts, and you have. I got to give it to you yourself engineering the electric for this. I had a lot of it, people it, mine too. Yes, it, it was your brain. I had a good team, and you're the director. But what you did and how you put it together okay. it's just unbelievable the success that we had in that short little bitty shop little bitty shop we had to keep it on the trailer and have room for both of them <laughs> so no thank you guys again it's been such a wonderful run and you know this is kind of like uh, i think i was talking to jim Hooger Hyde about it today and he goes look there's a big audience now looking at this type of stuff yeah you know, it's a that we're doing, what you guys have done, and it's just, we can't wait to see what the future is going to bring. Because now this electric stuff is really, it's here. It's not coming, it's here. Now it's just right. improved. And being somewhat of a pioneer and doing something nobody else had ever done, yeah. it was very gratifying. Oh, I think you No, thank you guys, too. Yeah, I appreciate it. fun, too. Hopefully we'll catch you guys again on the salt or wherever with more electric fun stuff. And look, pay attention to the Vesco team. They're, they're legends in this, and we're so blessed to have you, all of you guys in the Yes, thank you. Thank you. Let's go eat.